hi viewers welcome to this channel so before you watch this video please subscribe to this channel and uh, make me to reach uh, thousand subscribers so that we will be getting a community tab <coughs> so that i will be posting you the projects uh, regards before i upload so in this new project this is the project 2 so previously i have done uh, and uploaded a project one regarding msbi project which consists of ssis ssrs and ssas pa three parts so kindly watch in the channel so in this project two entirely i am going to concentrate on the ssis so i will be starting from part one video so pa this project two consists of three parts first part one is uh, uh, how to use the for each uh, loop container for dynamic package execution and uh, second uh, part two is that uh, regarding the incremental loading that is whenever i upload a file to the folder where i have brought it uh, in uh, part one using the for each loop container so that should be uploaded automatic uh, that, that should be uploaded to the ssis so that is incremental loading that is incremental data loading and part three is scheduling using the sql server agent that is automatically it should be refreshing every day whenever a new file is added it should be loaded to the ssis so these are these are the three parts and after that in the project three or project four i will be continuing the real-time scenarios again with the modification to this uh, project 2 so initially in this part 1 video so i am going to show you how to use the for each loop container in ssis so in the previous project we have loaded individually files that is not dynamic package execution so in this case we are going to show you the dynamic package execution so what i am going to do is initially i need to load this uh, s folder from this uh, location so this folder initially having four csv files all the files should be loaded at a time but uh, while selecting only this one i will be selecting first one or second one anything so first one i will be selecting as the default uh, that is a manual one and remaining things will be automatically looped by using the for each loop container so this is part one dynamic execution of you uh, of the package using the for each loop container and in the part two once i add uh, another csv file that is s 2018 to this folder it should be automatically up updated in the ssis so that is incremental loading so that incremental loading should be executed as per the scheduled automatically so that is uh, part three the we will be using the sql server agent so first thing what we need to do is so we need to copy the first one location the first file location so copy this one so this is the file so see here so this one till here we need to copy and come to the ssis so first thing is drag a for each loop container so here we will be having three types of containers for loop container for each loop container sequence container so first thing what i am going to do i am going to drag a for each loop container so before that what i need to do is i need to create a variable so add a variable because dynamic package execution so here i am going to give the name as file path so why so that one we need to paste here and this should be and this should be string and now paste this one so close so now what i am going to do is in the for each loop container i am going to right click on the for each loop container edit uh, this is the real time scenario part by part we need to execute so we need to break into small parts so go to the collection 
so here you will be having the enumerator so lot many enumerators will be there for example if you want to go for the object so you need to go for adio enumerator or adio.net so but here i am going to select for each file enumerator because i need to add a one by one file by looping so we need to select the folder path so where is the folder path so my folder path is on the desktop in the data connections yes so that one so here as those four files are csv so dot csv if you select the dot uh, star dot star means all types of files but uh, here we need to give mention the type of file csv so next variable mapping so use file uh, file for user file path that is the variable we have created before firstly so click out that one so okay so for each loop container has been edited now drag a data flow task to here so click on that one data flow task now go to the ssi to uh, ssi toolbox and uh, drag the source that is as it is a csv file go to the flat file source connection so double click on that one so new connection manager so give the name as s2014 because only one thing i am going to load for now so browse that file so select a csv here so first file only i am going to select remaining it should it should be automatically looped there so go to columns go to advanced go to preview okay now columns mapping done so okay so after that drag a destination as oledb destination because we need to load it to sql server database so connect this one to here and click on that one and uh, i am going to use a new thing so data analytics is my database name so table as fast table load so i am going to select the database for uh, storing is test so when you are creating for the first time click on the new and change the name to your requirement so mapping so mapping done so okay so everything okay now what we need to do is we need to uh we need to create an expression for the flat file connection this is the flat file connection manager so right click properties so go to the expression so click on that one so here so connection string property so so click on the expression so in that drag this user file path parameter so evaluate the expression so this is the thing we got here so okay okay so expression has been created now if i execute this one so see here if you click on the data flow so 17588 rows has been uploaded so that is for 2005 2014 file number of rows existed in that one but if you look in the database that is a test database see here this the query is executing 54530 that means all the four files has been loaded so let us look at the last so that is a date if you look at let's see up to 2017 the data has been loaded that means four files has been loaded again if we execute one more time this uh, package it is showing again Seventeen thousand five eighty eight rows of two thousand fourteen. But if you click here, so this amount will be doubled. Four plus four eight files will be added, and fifty four thousand plus fifty four thousand rows will be added. So that should be avoided.
see this many rows doubled so for the purpose what we need to do is we need to use an execute sql task to the outside of this uh, for each loop container and uh, click on that one and give the connection as uh, your previous connection and here we need to write the sql statement so in this case i am going to write truncate table so the table name here is test so double the amount will be avoided so finish so connect to this one you can connect or not need so now if you start executing again so each and every time how many times you execute that one so you will be getting the same number of rows every time so 54530 again if you rerun the query again also that won't be changing so that is the advantage of using the sql execute sql statement according to the requirement you will be writing the query so 54530 so this is how you execute the or load the files to SSIS by using the for each loop container in dynamic modeling that is dynamic package execution this is part one in part two i am going to show you the incremental load so that is if i modify the file so that should be automatically changed in the ssis once i execute and the third part is that uh, execution of that incremental loading should be automatic that is by using the sql server agent so be, so please subscribe to this channel so that we will be getting the community tab so it will be useful to everyone and uh, i will be uploading the poster of that one once i cross that thousand i will be getting the community tab thank you so much